Welcome to day 273 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Hornell from here, and we are going through our growing process this final week of the month of our focus on contribution growth. So, excuse me, <laughs> we set a goal, step one, a SMART goal. We looked at the situation that we're in right now, which is why we set the goal in the first place, because we wanted to identify where we are now versus where we want to go, because that gap, by just calling that out and identifying that clearly in our minds, it creates a tension. It's kind of like pulling a rubber band. And I usually have a rubber band in my wrist, but not today to demonstrate, of course. But it's like pulling a rubber band. It causes pressure from where we are to where we want to be to move us toward that because we want to take the pressure off of the rubber band. So that's why we look at what do we want? Where are we right now? What are we going to do to get it? That's what the rest of the steps of this process are all about. And so today's is step six, and it is to never quit. Never, ever, 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 ever. In my mind, and over years of trial and error and lots of experiences, some good, some bad, some really ugly, uh, I have learned that the only way to fail in anything in any area of your life is to absolutely positively give up and quit on that. And I've quit a few things in my life uh, for whatever reason. I mean, we've all quit things and I've learned from those experiences that I, I could have made that thing work with the couple of exceptions, because sometimes we actually join forces with the wrong people, people that are very bad for us. And I did that a couple of times. And that's, those are the things that I had to find a way to intentionally separate myself from and quit. But otherwise I don't believe in quitting. I think there's always a way to work things out. Uh, we've got Amy's story and guide two of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page. And of course, she's sharing uh, how this step of the process worked out in her life with her goal of tutoring 10 uh, children to improve their reading comprehension to grade levels. Education is her way of, and tutoring is a way for her to contribute and give back and help other people. And she knows that helping 10 individuals is not only going to impact her life, but it's going to impact their lives and the lives of everyone they touch if they have the ability to read and comprehend and critically think. She also discovered that as she is contributing, she is gaining in terms of personal development and personal growth, her leadership skills, her communication skills, her critical thinking skills, as she's teaching them to be more comprehensive and understand more of what they read. She is in fact honing her skills in that area as well. Uh, so how do we hold ourselves accountable and not quit? How do we not give up on our goal? And that's our action item today is to share one way that you are going to hold yourself accountable to achieving this goal by the end of the year or whatever date you set for yourself. I set by the end of the year because I want to have it short enough that I can actually measure and, and determine, and that's how I set the goal, if I'm succeeding or not at that goal. And then, of course, at the end of every year, I re-up all of my goals uh, or because I have lifelong legacy goals. I, I guess I don't re-up them. I reinforce that I still want those things. And what is this year's plan to move me toward them? Uh, and of course, then I form shorter term goals, annual goals, semi-annual, quarterly, monthly, weekly. I have been do daily goals. So uh, I'm one of those goal-oriented folks. So how are you going to hold yourself accountable and not quit no matter what? How are you going to make sure that you get this particular goal that you've set for yourself? Uh, that's what we're going to share. Just share one thing in the comments below. I'm going to get an accountability partner. I've already decided that. And my accountability partner is probably going to be my mom since uh, that is the person that my contribution goal centers around. All right. Any questions? What do you do? You ask. Any uh, if you need help coming up with a process to hold yourself accountable, ask about that as well. Uh, there's so many things you can do. You can write a little contract with yourself, and then you can either have a reward or a punishment, whichever works best for you personally. In some situations, telling myself I don't get to do something or I, I am going to be required to, to pay a penalty if I don't achieve something and stick to it is a way that I keep myself accountable sometimes. Uh, Actually, this entire challenge is, is one of the ways that I hold myself accountable to show up and do everything every single day to move me toward the goals and objectives I want in each of the different areas and aspects of my life, not just contribution. All right. Any questions asked? Otherwise, have an awesome day. Have fun with this. Share in the comments below how you hold yourself accountable so that you don't.
quit on things that are really important and core to you. All right. See you tomorrow.